Hi there guys, welcome to another episode with uh, Farmer Bob and uh, we, we, we're still busy with the Chellington map, harvesting all that uh, nice three big fields with the old school equipment. Yes, we're doing everything old school and um, we left off last night when we finished off this field and the other field, so both these fields are now harvested. If I can quickly show you. Um, 6 and 11 is fully harvested so now the big day is field 15 a big challenge to do that with the old school stuff the old school equipment all right so without further ado I've woken up all the workers because it's nice and bright and early seven o'clock so they didn't have much sleep but yeah um, it's just how it goes on the farm when it's harvest time so we're gonna get this boy up and running and um, give it uh, a nice push off here so it can go so everything should be alright let's just check if it carries on cold start on this world hoffer <laughs> yes 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 almost there almost there there we go time for the misfire there it is rev it up a bit and then almost there yes yes there you go there you go and this fire is gone <laughs> don't you just love it guys what a wonderful piece of equipment i mean it is so nice you see we're still missing the sights um on the turns so all right Today, I've actually seen now that I've forgotten to switch off this driver. And we're going to delete this course. And we're going to go to the, to the uh, top field where we're going to work today. Wonderful, guys. Let's make a U-turn here. You'll see it's a nice and misty morning. Yeah, on the weather report it says it's going to be cloudy all day so um, we don't expect too much um, sunlight today I don't know we'll see what happens it's all thumbs guys let us all thumbs wonderful wonderful Great stuff. So we are we gonna be heading off here to the field now. Great stuff, great stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna park the truck here just now. Um Mind you, let's do the let's do the recording for the truck first this time, so we can send it off to work immediately. Um, what I'm thinking of doing, oh, I hope I can get past these um, harvesters in this way. Squeeze past the back of this harvester, yeah. Yes, just 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 under the trees. Okay, wonderful. All right, so I think I think what we can do. I want to. Um, how we're going to do this is very interesting we're going to start harvesting from that side so the going to we will not want to be going into the direction of the, the harvesters because otherwise we're going to be in their way when they have to turn here on the side of the field Okay, let's just do it from here and see. Alright, there we go. Uh, empty the harvester, start course recording. So we're going this way, uh, making a U-turn. So we're going to bite the bullet um, and drive a bit over the course, over the field, lose a bit of, of harvest in the process. And then go back. I actually don't want to have the truck park 
we have to park it in the field yeah all right so stop it here and then we save it as field 15 uh, okay so we call it field 15 grain run all right excellent let's see how that operates once once we get going it should be all right drive the course no combines in reach obviously all right so we are happy okay now 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 to try this out i haven't done this before with three harvesters so it's going to be a learning experience for me too okay so first of all course play oh let's just see which harvester we've got now we want the right hand one to do the outer lanes first um so which harvester have we got let's put, put the lights on and we'll see okay so it is the right one okay nice one way of to determine which harvester you've got <laughs> okay all right course for field 15 we can delete that of course of course um, and then we go to field work we go here and select field 15 there it is it's a four meter header which is good uh, the starting location is north west and we're driving east okay headland we're gonna do definitely three headlands uh, okay three headlands that's good that way anti-clockwise because our, our offload side is on the left so we want it that way um, and bypass islands doesn't really matter we don't have islands in this map multiple tools so we're going to go to we're going to go three of them all right okay so that is set we can now set this one to lane offset as the right one one right okay symmetric lane change activated of course and then the rest is just fine all right so that looks all right requested driver driver priority uh, let's make them all full level this time stop during unloading activated that's right and turn on field that's all right um, this is going to be the first one so let's start this one at at 80 oh, but we're going to leave them to go so let's leave all at 80 that's fine um, maybe we can make it 70 percent that should be all right okay and there you go let's generate the course there it is just want to see how it looks oh, looks all right okay so now what we're going to say is um, now we're going to save this course as field 15 harvest harvest um, and then it is 3 by combine and we call it 4 meter width ok 4m then that's the last character we could get into the name ok guys so my question is where is the starting point there it is all right so we can set this guy to go to the first waypoint and we can say drive course and he should be happy to go which he is obviously and then we can jump out and while that is running its course we will we will now set this one up make sure we've got the right one okay and that guy is more than happy working all right so we're going to uh, what is the combine convey I've never actually used the combine convoy. I'll figure out what that is later on. I just know how to use this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to delete the old course. Um, 
and then uh, we're going to go there to Z that uh, no tractor and then we copy of course from from the Neva SK that is running copy that there it is and this lane offset is the center one so that's good everything else headlands that is from the course so we don't fiddle around with any day uh, that is fine this is fine the speeds we can up the speeds a bit so we don't have to wait so long okay and obviously that Full level is right. Stop doing and activate it. What am I missing? Am I missing something, guys? I hope not. I really hope not. Uh, okay, and then we can just say drive course. Go nearest waypoint, first waypoint. Okay, drive the course. Why is that other one not harvested anything? Oh my gosh, you know what? Let's just stop this driver. You know what guys, I've never set this thing to field work ever. Why is it not harvesting? So we're gonna have to do this whole thing again. From the start. Oh my gosh. It is on field work. Why is it not harvesting? Let's just switch off this. Uh, I honestly don't know why it's not harvesting. That's a weird thing to happen. And here I thought we are pay for away. It just shows you have to check everything, guys. Check everything before you before you start. Okay, so let's just get back there to the first waypoint. That second harvester is definitely harvesting. I just don't know why this thing isn't. happening there's stuff in this things um we're first gonna have to unload this quickly there's still um this is barley how did i not pick that up this is barley it's not wheat okay and there's wheat in the harvester so i'll have to check the other harvester as well my gosh I don't know if you guys know that you can actually offload your harvester directly into the <laughs> into your uh, drop off point. I've done that many a times. You just do this and there you go. Very nice. Empty it quickly. Okay, wonderful. Now that we've done that, we can send this Oki back on its way. Man, oh man, oh man. What a misty morning, eh, guys? A very misty morning. Alright, so now we tell it again. Drive the course at the first waypoint, and let's just check it out. It should now harvest. And we're going to just have to give it a long, 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 long time to get a hit. Ah, uh, of course. Uh, let's just get this open. Why is this one not coming on? Let's get this one out of the way. There we go. Which just tells me if if a thing is like that close to one another it's definitely a problem with the I think maybe with the somewhere with the model size 
it's not really portraying what the real size is. That's why that the off offset on the offloading side is not so well uh, adjusted, you know. Okay, let's just wait for that one to get ahead of it. Okay, excellent. I think we've got uh, a nice uh, bit of a break um, so that that one can get away. Um, let's not make this first waypoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse a little bit. Just go there. Hopefully it will carry on. Let's have a look. Yes, it looks like it's going straight ahead. It's work. How far has this guy gone? Yeah, he's got quite a, a head start. So we should not have any problems. Um, we must now just wait for this one to get a bit of a head start before we start the third one. Okay, wonderful. Now oh, this is looking good, guys, so far. And our truck, uh, where's our truck? Our truck is saying waiting until full level is reached okay what is happening here just made another u-turn <laughs> oh my gosh it's that sharp corner that cosplayers made it done do there you know so uh, yeah interesting um, I wanted to just check one thing yeah where is it yeah 70 percent all right so the next one uh, This one, where is that one at? 50. Let's make this one at. I think we're going to keep them all at 70 because, uh, yeah, that would be the right thing. Okay, and then now the last one we can start up, I'm sure. Oh, wait, I just want to get out of the bushes. Let's actually have something to look at. <laughs> Okay, so this last one, what we're going to do is go here to tractor, copy course from the furthest Neva, which is, that's the truck, 587, that's the one. Okay, 3 by combine, so we copy that. That's our first Neva, so we copy that. There's nothing else to set here. Here everything is fine because we're using the same course. And then we go here to that is at 70, um, which is good. And this one is at full level, straight stop during activated. Uh, yeah, I think that's about everything that we can set, that we need to set. The speeds is okay. All right, so let us start at the first waypoint. Drive the course. There we go. That's how simple it is, guys. It's actually not that difficult at all. Now we have a three-lane harvesters running around and harvesting all the trees making us all happy and proud oh i forgot see there must have been something this is the left lane um, so let's go back try this again we must set it as the left lane one left there you go almost forgot <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Yeah, what a vicious right turn there, but over, over exaggerated there to get on the left lane. <laughs> a bit anxious to get there. <laughs> okay, anyways, not too worry. Okay, guys, this is quite lucky. This is quite very good. Let's go to our truck. How much is in our truck? 50% so that's one um, one load in there so obviously it's waiting now in the wrong place it shouldn't be waiting on the on this side because the other harvester is going to come in here that is one problem I can foresee luckily um, luckily we have uh, um, a big gap between the two so this is our second harvester. So I'm just thinking it's at 30%. No, sorry, this is our first harvester. This is our first harvester. And go back there. 
There we go. This is our third harvester. This is our second harvester. And this one is at 65. And we are going to offload the 70. And the truck is... I don't see the truck yet. So yeah, it looks like it's going to work all right. Here's that massively sharp bend. I don't know what the guys were thinking. He didn't... But I mean, this is the... This is like a very sharp corner on the field. So it's all right. Doesn't matter. We're still getting there. Great guys, great man. Okay. I think the one truck will be able to handle all three. We'll see. I don't foresee any problems um, with the truck not making it. Nice to see. I'm just thinking we. we the, the gap might be a little too small. We might have to increase the gap between the three harvesters. Because this is a very long field, you know. And we're going to have to um, well, send the harvester, once it's doing the, the cross sections of the field, they might run into each other there because of the gap. So yeah, but we'll see. Trucky is going to make a U-turn now behind the harvester and come around nice quite strange weather we have here today so guys if you've ever wondered what it is like uh, doing the old school um, harvesting and play through this is it eh? it's working exactly the same as with the big equipment just much cheaper though eh very much cheaper for the price of one harvester we have basically got enough equipment to to do all of these fields um, for the price of one modern harvester you know I mean I'm talking of for instance the class was the case the big ones 400 because we started I think I think we started with like 400 and something when we sold all the equipment there's our trucky going he is on the way to offload, so let's see how that works for us. And our little um, Waldhofer <laughs> D22 is still on a mission offloading. I think we must buy another one and set it so long to uh, to do the other field so long, because that other field still also needs to be done. So yeah, once once we know this is running smoothly. We can maybe uh, buy another Waldorfer and put it on the other field so long. In the meantime, let it start loading some hay for us, straw for us there. Okay. So our first harvester has already gone past here. You can see that clearly. And here we are. Man, it's a pity you can't climb these towers. I would have loved to climb up there. Uh, yeah, I can see another problem here. Ah, but luckily this field is so big, it shouldn't be giving us any grief. And that third harvest should 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 be uh, ready ready by now yes there we go I was gonna say it should definitely be ready by now here it is 100 percent this is our third one or oh, is this our first one now no this is the first harvest of course I mean look at it it uh, um, it has already um, we, we're doing our second lane of the of the three headers ah oh, and once again the six meter isn't enough I don't understand this guys this drives me crazy really drives me crazy so anyways we can't waste too much time stop the driver do it manually you see now now look where it's throwing with the other six meter it was over the side so so something is the something is a foot 
Something is really a foot with this. I don't know what it is. But it is a foot. Because it's not working as it should. Waiting until waiting position is free. It means that harvester must be ahead a bit so it can go and park here. But I don't think it's going to be any parking because that other harvester is also full. No combine and reach my foot. There's lots of combines. There we go. There we go. Go drive where it's already been harvested. That third harvester must be 100% because we've never actually offloaded that. Um, Nivo SK5. Okay. Nice of it to um, to drive uh, on the harvested area. It's just a pity once it's finished um, loading, it should also keep on driving in the loaded in the harvested area. Because I mean, otherwise it just drives over the crop. But I think it's actually programmed to do that, guys. Uh, it was just because I uh, had to start and stop the. Um, the load so it, it it actually heads back to that um, directly back to the to the start point of that offload course that we've programmed but I think if everything can work fine if the offsets are right um, yeah I think it will be okay I think it will really be okay look at him he's like he can't decide which side of this lane he wants to drive on the left or on the right <laughs> or is it just more the waving of the field it's just the waving of the field now going left and right I think I'm gonna up this field speed a bit because um, it is really should go actually much faster because uh, here we go Let's see if we can go to 50 yeah you see the same I haven't changed anything on the offset now it's right look where it's filling it's almost on the side of the trailer and other times then it just drops into the trailer which is too close so I don't understand why it does that you see now no nope, it is definitely taking a shortcut to the offload <coughs> course so it's ignoring the field while um, heading to the offload course but once it goes to the harvester it, it actually takes the field into consideration so there's still a little bit of programming to be done in the, um, the course play the course play uh, um, setup you know I don't know what the guys need to do to sort that out but but the going to the harvester is working great because it follows it follows the harvested field you know and doesn't drive over the field but anyway it's just part of life they will probably eventually have it sorted and we will all be very grateful <laughs> obviously guys I'm glad it's sort of the mist is sort of lifting it makes me sort of feel better you know right what are we doing no combine in reach that's nonsense right behind the combine okay so which combine are we going to now yeah it was actually a good idea to go to 50 because um, uh, you can actually um, save a bit of time reaching the, the harvester Okay, yeah, here it is also perfect. Very perfect. Okay, so we know this too is working alright. This is our center lane harvester. So now we need to still empty the, the left lane harvester. But I think that first lane harvester will probably be next. Let's have a look. Yep, there it's going. Oh no, no combine in reach. Hmm. 
it just it, it, it doesn't mean that there's not one in reach it just means there's not one that's reach uh, uh, that's uh, ready to uh, be offloaded but here we go there's a fish on the hook <laughs> okay it seems like seems like this everything here is working all right so far so good we've got enough space between the harvesters to have enough time for the offloading and everything I'm just wondering if there's um, if this if one truck is enough you know actually wanted to see this thing has got a hitch in the back this trailer so you can actually put the dolly and another one of these trailers behind if you if you want to um, if, if one truck isn't enough then we can add another trailer to it which then definitely should should be alright you see it is now driving to the next harvester here's our first harvester on the right so I suppose this is it here yeah. it's reached 100% so I don't just don't know when it reached 100% it should have been just now yeah this offset is now it, it looks like I mean I haven't changed anything it's just my baby a fluke of the turn or something I don't know but one thing is sure it's working all right now it seems to be okay I like that this uh, little harvester is offloading so quick you know because uh, this just means that we don't spend a lot of time waiting for the offload and uh, with a big field like this you would like to you would like to have a, uh, a good um, speed between the harvesters you know to service them all at once you know or not at once but as quick as possible so for the time being uh, we might we might uh, might leave um, leave it at one truck doesn't seem so I think what we can do now is just run through all three harvesters. Here's the first, this is harvester one, it's at 10, so we've just offloaded that one. This is at 62, and this one is at 39. So one truck is more than enough to do this job. Yeah, so we basically have three harvesters running full time, which is nice. So it's a 12 meter harvester. If you combine all three headers, it's 12 meter um, lane that we are harvesting this field with, which is fairly average of a big, one big harvester, you know. So yeah, it's like using one big harvester to harvest this huge field. Well guys, this is the end of another episode and uh, it was really fun sharing this time together. Uh, I really want to just say thank you for uh, tuning in and joining me in this venture and having all fun together in our favorite game. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments if there's anything you want to um, say or any ideas or, or any, anything that stood out to you. I would love to hear whatever you think, you know. So yeah, it's always fun to do that. But thanks guys for tuning in and you've been great. Um, if you like the video just give it a like if not thumbs down honesty is always the best um, uh, best recipe <laughs> i just believe that you know so guys take care man this is farmer bob saying cheers until next time bye